Thanks for watching. What's up, YouTube? So, I got some Nerite snails and I got uh, some, excuse me, pom pom freshwater crabs in the mail uh, from Aquatic Arts. Shout out to Aquatic Arts. And I'm just gonna unbox them and let's see what they look like. Alrighty, first box. Ooh, okay. Thank you for your order. What is this, acclimation instructions? Okay, we'll read that here in a minute. What is this, like a sticker? I think it's a sticker, cool. And then, trying to open this. Thanks for choosing Aquatic Arts. We would like to invite you to visit our website. You can find our full array of plants and animals at lower prices with more shipping options and the great same customer service. In fact, we're offering $10 off your first order to try us out, take 10. Code not valid with other active offers. Okay, so let's see what we got in here. I've never made an unboxing video before. Ooh, there's a lot of bags. That's always exciting. Let's see. Oh, yep. And there we go. Here's one of our little crabs. wonder what's in here. It's like a piece of screen or something. Let me see if I can go over by the light here. I forget how much I ordered, maybe like 10. Okay, cool. All right, so I just read the instructions on how to acclimate the crabs. Basically, you can just acclimate them by using the bag floating in the water method. It said for five minutes, uh, float the bag, and then after five minutes, poke three holes in the bag. Don't disrupt the bag or distress it in any way, and kind of let the water flow from there and wait another 15, 20 minutes, then re uh, release them into your tank. Don't add any of the old water. I'm guessing this second box is just uh, five more pom-pom crabs. Let's get it up. Yeah, aquatic arts, they the best. I've used them for a couple years now. Um, I like getting their Armano shrimp. They have a lot of different options for uh, nano tanks. They've got nano fish, uh, betas, crayfish, snails. Uh, I got a couple plants, I think. So they're a pretty good website to check out. You can order their stuff on Amazon, which that's what I originally did. But like the packaging says, you can get them at cheaper rates um, on their website. So far, uh, six out of 10 crabs are living. Yep, seven. Let's put these in the tank here. Kind of in the middle of doing just like a 25% water change too. Um, my ammonia, it would be nice to kind of get that under control. Sorry, I just live out in the country. Little country house, nothing. It's, it's a ranch. Got a lot of dogs. My parents used to foster for a dog rescue, so we have a lot of foster fails. They got a giant uh, dog yard running around back there. Let me know if you want me to show you guys the dog yard. Yeah, so 
crabs eight and nine are alive and kicking. And you can maybe, we'll see if crab 10 is uh, kicking here in a minute. Being very careful not to drop these things. We'll put them in there. There we go. Hey, Pepper. That's great, see? 10 out of 10. Sorry guys, I thought the near ice snails would be in here, but it looks like uh, they use a lot of packaging for the pom pom crabs. Crab number 10. He is alive. All right, I wonder what that screen is for. Is it, is it for their filter medium? Or is it just kind of like something to climb on? I don't know. If you guys know, let me know. So kind of doing some research on these little dudes. Uh, apparently they're kind of new to the hobby. I'm going to put them in my beta sorority. Um, with my beta sorority, there's like <clears throat> 15 beta fish in here. Oh, look at him. He's just crawling around in the bag. Um, and there's some um, near ice snails and I got Armano shrimp. The substrate is just a organic potting soil with sand. I've got some, I've got a lot of plants in here, a lot of different things. The hornwort kind of really took over and clouded out the light. So, some of my water sprite died, so it's like growing back in. There's my shrimp, and I know that neon female glow beta or whatever, I know she always looks like sick and depressed, but seriously, this tank has been set up for four months now, and she just always chills there. So, she's literally fine. I think it's because she's so much smaller, she kind of just hides and doesn't get in the way of all these big sassy females. Um, let me turn the water on here. Get this thing filling up, put some uh, Seachem Prime in there, and I'll just show you guys when I'm all done.
so cute.